Hi, I'm Erin St. Blaine for Adafruit. For this week's project, we're going to be making the glowing heart of Tiffy Tea. This is a 3D printed necklace inspired by the Moana movie, and it uses an Adafruit nude and a coin cell battery holder. It's a pretty easy project, so let's get started. First, we'll get the dimensions of the pieces we're going to use. I'm using this uh, CR 2032 coin cell holder with an on off switch on it. Uh, it'll run the necklace for days, which is fantastic. Um, and the dimensions here are 29 millimeters by 28 millimeters by 1.6. So I'm just going to come over here and make a note of that. So the battery holder dimensions and then we'll go ahead and grab the dimensions of the nudes as well. I'm in the nudes uber guide here and it looks like they're 300 millimeters long uh, and the cross section is around two millimeters. So uh, we'll, we'll make it two millimeters just because giving a little ease is a good idea. Now I'm going to head over to Thingiverse and see if I can find a design that we can modify. There are lots of Heart of Tough ET designs up here. Uh, I'm going to pick this one because it says simplified. It's a little bit uh, simpler. Tinkercad doesn't like really complex models, so the simpler the better if you're importing into that. I'm going to go ahead and download this and upload it into Tinkercad. I've made a new project in Tinkercad and called it Heart of Tiffiti, and I'm going to go ahead and import that model. I'll import it at 100%. The dimensions are 19 by 42 by, what well, looks like 42 by 50 is what we're looking at. And our battery holder is 29 by 28, so it looks like that should fit there. I might make it just a little bit bigger so we have plenty of space. And here we have our model. The first thing I'm going to do is mock up the battery holder and uh, figure out how big to make the cutout for the nude. So let's start with a box, which will just stand in for the battery holder. Our battery holder is 29 by 28 millimeters. Um, we want to make it a little bit bigger than that, just because if we're nestling it into the hole, uh, we want to give a little bit, a couple millimeters of ease. So let's go ahead and make it 31 millimeters by... 30 millimeters. So we're just adding kind of two millimeters to each dimension so we know we have plenty of space. And we'll take a look and just kind of line that up. It looks like it will fit pretty nicely on the back, but it's getting kind of close to the edges there. That's going to be tight. It's not really room for the nudes uh, like right around here. So let's just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger before we get too much further. Uh, I'm just going to drag it. And if I don't hold down shift, it squishes it for which way. Uh, if I hold down shift while I drag, then it'll drag in uh, proportion. So let's do that. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to drag it one, two millimeters. And looks like that's going to still be a, a pretty appropriate size, but it'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit more space for the battery holder to sit. Now I'm going to select both of these and use the align tool to kind of get them lined up so that that battery holder is kind of right in the back. And we'll just put this out of the way for the moment. Next, I'm going to work on the wired channel for the nudes. Um, before I do that, I want to try and flatten the back of this. Um, I really want it to not be real breakable. And if I sink wire channel holes in there, there's going to be a lot of resiny bits that can break off. So what I'm going to do is just grab a box hole and make it nice and big so that it's much bigger than the necklace. And I'm um, going to just cut off the back here. And I think uh, I'm going to not quite do it just halfway through, but I'll give it a couple more millimeters just to, so that I have a, a little more space. Um, I did find that through trial and error, uh, a little thicker will diffuse the light a little bit better. So I'm going to select both of those and click group. 
and it'll cut the back right off for me. Next, we're gonna make the wire channel for the nudes. I'm gonna use a torus shape for this, and to figure out how big we wanna make it, let's first get the dimensions of what our backing is. It looks like our uh, our necklace is, uh, oh, there we go, where'd it go? Uh, it looks like about 48 by 13 uh, by, what's our height here? By 56. So I'm gonna call it uh, 56 by 48. So we want our torus to be just a little bit smaller than that so that it fits inside the back. So maybe we'll make it, uh, our outer ring be, I don't know, 53 by 45 maybe. If the diameter is 53, then the radius is going to be uh, 22 and a half, so let's make it that big. And then the tube size, uh, this doesn't appear to go with millimeters, but we can look at the grid on the, on the floor here and see, it looks like that's about one millimeter. Let's try a, a tube size of one, and that looks like it might be around two millimeters, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Uh, so that's probably good. Let's make a tube radius of one. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag out a couple more of these. Um, with another radius of one, we'll make, we'll make this one a little smaller so it fits inside. And this isn't an exact science here. I'm just trying to make sure that there's enough room for 300 millimeters of nude to kind of be sunk into the back of the of the necklace, um, it's not, it, the nude is squishy and uh, silicone and a little stretchy, so it's probably not a huge deal if we don't get it absolutely perfect. Um, but I've got the three rings now, I'm going to hit the align, whoops, not that one. I'm gonna hit align and center them on themselves. And then I will group them together and I'm gonna squish them so that the, side diameter is appropriate for this. It looks like our necklace is 48. We wanted it to be about 45. Let's see, we can just change that right here. And our height will be 53. So that should fit nicely on the back. Um, right now there's no way for the nude to get from one channel to the next channel when we make these into holes. So let's do one more little uh, hole through the middle there so that the, the nudes can easily get from one channel to the next. For that, I'm going to use a cylinder. I'm going to turn it on its side and we'll make the dimensions two millimeters by two millimeters. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let's see, this one here should be two millimeters and then the height will also make two millimeters. Now we've got a nice tube and we can stretch that out as long as we need to. until it kind of fits in there. And I'm actually gonna make it a little bit wider so that we can squeeze a couple nudes through that same hole if we need to. All right, let's align this and group it. And now we've got a nice sort of cutout shape that we can use to hide our nudes. Let's rotate this 90 degrees and bring it up to the work plane and then we'll rotate it another 90 degrees. Again, if you hold down shift, then you get a nice 90 degree section. And then we will align these two so that it's perfectly centered up. Oh, and that put it right in the middle. So let's bump this guy over just a bit until our I'm just using the arrow key here until our wire channel shows. Mm -hmm. 
Now it looks like it's not quite aligned vertically. I kind of missed that one. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Um, I'm planning on working with Noe and Pedro to make a press fit back. So you know what I'm going to do is squish this just a little bit more to give me just a tiny bit more room on the edges. And then we'll align it one more time. And group it. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with our battery holder. We'll make it a hole, and then we'll align these two guys. And I'll pull this one out till it's just a couple millimeters deep. Looks like that's the edge right there. So we'll go one, two. Um, I can snap, change my snap settings here, so keeping it at a millimeter makes this kind of thing real easy. And then I'll group them. And now we have a cutout for the battery holder as well. Last thing I want to do is add a necklace loop so that we can hang this from our necks if we so desire. Uh, I'm going to use, what should we use? I'm going to use a ring for this. So let's go ahead and turn this 90 degrees and another 90 degrees. And then we'll make the whole thing a little smaller, just holding down shift. Oh, that's that, right? Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get things to move the way you want in Tinkercad. It takes a little practice, but kind of worth it. I'm making it a little fatter too. And then I will just drag it over to the top here. We'll put it right here and then we'll use our trusty align tool one more time to line it up so that it's nice and centered but not sticking out the back or anything like that. That looks pretty good. I might drag it down just a smidge more. The more kind of deep connection it has, the, the better it seems to fit. And we'll group those together too. And we are ready to test print our necklace. We'll click export and download the SDL file and then we can send it to our printer. I'm using an Elegoo Mars resin printer. These are about 150 bucks on Amazon, so it's pretty fun to pick one up. When they come right off the printer, they've got a lot of support material that you'll need to clip off. Um, a good pair of flush cutters is great for this. Bathe them in a bath of alcohol or simple green and clean them off, being careful not to touch the resin surface because they're not fully cured until you put them under some UV light for a little while. I put them in this curing box for about 20 minutes. The electronics for this project are fairly simple. We're using a battery holder, a battery, and a nude. The battery holder has an on-off switch on it, so uh, make sure that switch is turned on, and we're gonna test and figure out which end of our nude is which. Touch one end to the on or SW pad and the other end to ground, and when you've got it the right way, the nude will light up. Go ahead and insert one end into the SW pad and the other end into one of the ground pads, and we're gonna solder these in place. Make sure the switch is turned off. You never want to solder to a live circuit. These nudes are coated in silicone. Silicone can be tricky to stick things to. Uh, it just doesn't want to stick to any kind of glue at all. One exception to this is hot glue. Squeeze some hot glue into the wire channels left by the printer. This is a little easier if you use a low temperature hot glue. Uh, you're a lot less likely to burn your fingers. I found the middle of the nude and placed that right at the top and then slowly kind of worked my way up the edges until the whole nude is uh, gently pressed into the wire channels.
Add some glue to the back of the battery case as well and press it down until it all sort of sticks firmly. Add more glue. Uh, you can be pretty liberal with it here, especially if you're giving this to a kid or if it's going to be beat up at a costume con or something like that. Grab the press fit back and press it into place, making sure everything fits. Add a necklace chain and you are ready to glow. Check out the full build tutorial on the Adafruit Learn system. And remember to subscribe for more fun project videos. Thanks for watching!